What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tyler and welcome to my channel. I know your time is valuable so I'm going to try to make this video quick. In this video I'm going to show you one way you can double your stimulus check or make money from your stimulus check instead of just throwing the whole thing into Bitcoin. This isn't going to be easy but if you're willing to put in the work your future self will thank you. Alright so you'll be doing a business model called online arbitrage. So what that basically is, is buying products from online websites such as Walmart, Target, or even Home Depot and selling it online at a higher price. Alright, so you may be asking yourself who would buy a product at a higher price when they can just go to the store and buy it themselves at a lower price. The thing is not everybody wants to get up and go to the store and get it. They rather just pull out their phone and order it off of Amazon and receive it in two days. Well, receiving it in a small time frame comes at a cost, and that's where you'll be making your money. All right, so here's the whole layout of how to do this. Like I said, I'm not going to take too much of your time, so I'm going to put out a whole overview of how to do this and, how, and run you through the steps as quickly as possible. So the first step you need to take is to make a pro's Amazon seller account. So what you want to do is open up your browser or Google Chrome or whatever browser you use. Go to Google and type in sell on Amazon and it's gonna be it's gonna be the one right here that says Amazon become an Amazon seller start today you click that and then you're gonna sign up see right here it says $39.99 a month you're gonna click sign up I already have an account so if I click sign up it's probably gonna it's gonna sign me into my seller account so that's the first step all right, so step two is to find a product and the um, product research software that you're going to need is called Keepa. It is the most low cost. What's the low cost way to find a product? You don't need these little softwares that charge you like a hundred dollars a month to find a profitable product. All you need is Keepa and manually do the research. So once you make your Amazon seller account, you're going to be able to to um, download Keepa or install it onto your web browser. So what Keepa does is it tells you the price history of a product, any product on Amazon. So you'll know how many times it's sold in a year, three months, a month, a week, or a day. What I usually pay attention to is how many times it sells in one month so I can get an idea of how many products, um, how many like units I need to buy of that one product. So this is going to be the low cost way to find a product that sells. So that's step two. All right, so the third step is you need to find a product that nets you at least $8 or more in profit. You could find a product that nets you $5. That's, that's my minimum. The reason I'm saying find a product that nets you $8 or more is because if you can find a product that nets you that much, <clears throat> you're you're gonna be growing faster but mostly I would like to find products that net me at least close to ten dollars so that I can just buy at least 10 units of that product and if I sell all 10 then I'll have a hundred dollars in profit all right so to do product research I have a video on my channel where I go over how to do product research manually with Keepa you can find that video on my channel. I can link it in the description and I will probably put it on the video note tag that's on the top right of this video. But yeah, and there I go over the steps to take to find a profitable product. And all you have to do is just find a product that can net you eight or more or minimum five. But that's that. I also am going to make another video about like a more detailed video on how to do product research so stay tuned for that one all right so the fourth step is to once you found your product you need to ship it to amazon um so when you do this it's really hard to explain this but in amazon seller central there's going to be an option for you to create a shipping plan actually i could show you one second okay so once you have Amazon Seller Central made, you're going to go to add a product. Right in from add a product, you're going to need to find the ASIN of your product. So you're going to figure out what the ASIN is once you learn how to do manual product research. 
So you put your ASIN in here. Let me find a random ASIN. All right, so I have a random ASIN that I found off of Amazon. Hopefully I can sell this item. Okay, I can't sell this item. Oh, wow, I can. I just... All right. <laughs> okay. All right, so it took a while for it to, to come up. It's not... Some items are going to do this where it says blocked unless FBA. It's mostly toys that would do that. If you're new, you're not going to be able to sell toys. So don't worry about that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the box beside it. And then in this box up here where it says action on one selected, you're going to click the drop down. And then you're going to click to change to fulfill by Amazon. And then you're going to put convert and send inventory. Click this add dangerous goods information. If it's a, you just read this stuff, if it has a battery or uses batteries, you click yeah or whatever. So I'm just click no and no. Submit. Save and continue. And then you should just be able to just go through this. Just continue and shipping. Here's where you're going to put how many units. So I have 10 units. Who preps, you're going to put merchant. Um, the prep category, so you're going to put no prep needed. And then you just click continue. And then if you have a printer, you're going to have to print the labels onto there and stick them onto the barcode of your product, which is the little UPC code that you scan when you bought it. Or since you're buying it online, it's just going to be a little barcode bar. Pretty sure everybody knows what a barcode is. If you don't, Google it. You'll find it. Continue. And then, approve and continue. And then once you have all of your items in a box, you just click on work shipment. Just keep going. Um, down at this option, it'll say select your option. You just put everything in one box. If you have everything in one box, if you don't have everything in one box and they don't fit, you're going to click multiple boxes. And then that's when you just can add a configuration. You just go through this stuff on, on um, your package. So this is imaginary, so I don't know how many boxes I would have. But that's how you create your first Amazon shipment. I'm going to exit out of all of that. All right, so we went through the first step. You made a ProZeller account. The second step, you got Keepa. The third step, you found a product. The fourth step, you just created your first shipping plan, and now you need to ship it to Amazon. All right, so you shipped it to Amazon, and now it arrives at Amazon Warehouse. So that's basically it. You just handed it off to them. What they're going to do is they're going to unbox your package, they're probably going to send each individual unit that you sent them to different warehouses so that they can distribute they'll distribute your product to all the other Amazon warehouses so that customers that need it can get it faster in 2 days. That's how they get that's how they get prime shipping is they have the products near customers at Amazon warehouses. So, once it's all there, it's going to pop up how many units you have in your Amazon Seller Central. And um, once your item sells, Amazon just handles the rest. So they're going to they're gonna pick it, they're going to pack it, and they're going to ship it to the customers. And then you make your money. They're going to take their fees out too. Alright, so if you read the um, data correctly on Keepa before buying your product, your product should be able to sell within the month depending on how many times your product sells in the month. Usually I like to find a product that can sell within like 20 units a month. Usually if I find a product that sells within 20 units in a month, I usually just buy around like 30 to 40 and they usually all sell. Even though the data says that it sells about 20 units a month, 
So I have videos on the channel on how to create FBA shipments. If you were confused about that, I go more into detail about that. And I also have that video about the product research. I stated that earlier, but I'm just letting you know again. And I'm also letting you know again, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making a more detailed version of a product research video. Also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you know when I release that video. That's all for this video and I will see you in the next one.